दोस्तों आज हम चर्चा करने वाले हैं प्रोफेशनल लोगोज के बारे में बहुत सारे स्टूडेंट्स बहुत सारे हमारे व्यूअर्स हमको कमेंट कर रहे थे बता रहे थे कि सर हम प्रोफेशनल लोगो कैसे बनाए ये छोटा मोटा फ्री वाला लोगो नहीं एक बहुत हाई वैल्यूएबल प्रोफेशनल लोगोस तो दोस्तों ये वीडियो में बहुत एडवांस लेवल पे आपको सिखाया जाएगा कि आप अपना खुद प्रोफेशनल लोगोस कैसे बना सकते हैं और अगर आपके पास समय नहीं है तो आप फ्री को भी हायर कर सकते हैं जो ये आपका बहुत कम बजट में हाई लेवल प्रोफेशनल लोगोस बना के दे दे ठीक है दोस्तों प्रोफेशनल लोगोस बनाने के लिए आपको खास करके एडोबी इलुस्ट्रेटर एडोबी फोटोशॉप का खास करके रिक्वायरमेंट रहेगा ये फाइबर का लिंक डिस्क्रिप्शन यूट्यूब में है कि अगर आपके पास समय नहीं है और आप फाइबर से फ्री हायर करना चाहते तो यहाँ पर फ्री का लिंक आपको मिल जाएगा और अगर आप खुद से पूरा बनाना चाहते हैं तो ये एक प्रोजेक्ट बेस्ड प्रैक्टिकल वीडियो जो फ्री ने एक हमारी गाइडेंस के अनुसार जो एक्सपोर्ट इंपोर्ट बिजनेस के लिए यूजफुल हो सके वैसे लोगोस डिजाइन करके बताए हैं और प्रैक्टिकली आप कैसे कर सकते हो ये भी समझाया हुआ है दोस्तों वीडियो ट्यूटोरियल काफी बड़ा होने वाला है तकरीबन दो घंटे के आसपास हो जाएगा लेकिन मैं कह रहा हूं दोस्तों कि ये चीजों को आपको अप्लाई करना पड़ेगा या फिर एटलीस्ट आप पूरा देख लोगे तो आप अपने फ्रेंड ग्रुप रिलेटिव को बता सकते हैं जो भी आईटी इंडस्ट्री में है कि ऐसा वो डिजाइन कर सकते हैं जिसको थोड़ा बैकग्राउंड हो नॉलेज हो इस चीजों का बाकी आप सॉफ्टवेयर इंस्टॉल करके भी वर्क कर सकते हैं एक प्रयास कर सकते हैं और आप भी ये चीज डिजाइन कर सकते हैं यहां पर मैं आपको एक इंस्ट्रक्शन खास देना चाहूंगा कि जब भी आप फ्री से काम करते हैं तो आपको पहले सैंपल लोगोस अपने देने चाहिए कि मुझे इस तरीके का लोगो चाहिए हालांकि वो लोगो उसमें से आइडियाज लेंगे और आपको डिजाइन करेंगे डिजाइन करके देंगे जिसमें कॉपीराइट का उल्लंघन ना होता हो वो उनको पता रहता है तो ये खास आप जो है उनको सैंपल लोगोस भेज सकते हैं फिर आपको जो है वो डिजाइन देंगे उसके ऊपर से आपको वर्कआउट करना होता है जो लोगो ट्रांसपेरेंसी होती है वो भी जरूरी है लोगो ट्रांसपेरेंसी का मतलब क्या है जैसे आप लोगो डिजाइन करते हैं या फिर वेबसाइट से कहीं फ्री डाउनलोड कर लेते हैं तो उसका पीएनजी फाइल होना चाहिए अब पीएनजी फाइल अगर है तो आप कहीं पर भी वेबसाइट में वगैरह डालते हैं तो उसका बैकग्राउंड नहीं आता तो ये भी एक जरूरी होना चाहिए सोर्स फाइल जो होती है सोर्स फाइल वो सारी की सारी आप ले लें ताकि उसको आपको बड़ा करना है छोटा करना है तो आप कभी भी कर सकते हो बड़ा पोस्टर बनाना है कहीं पर भी अगर आपने छोटा मोटा लोगो कहीं से ले लिया है फिर आप जूम करने से फट जाएगा तो वो नहीं चलेगा अच्छा वेक्टर फाइल होना चाहिए ये सारी चीजें जो है आपकी फ्री दे देते हैं अगर आप मांगो तो ठीक है तो ये ध्यान में रखना है ये वेक्टर फाइल का एग्जाम्पल आपको बता रहा हूं कि देखिए अगर आपका फोटोग्राफ जूम होगा ठीक है तो बिटमैप फट जाएगा नॉर्मली और वैक्टर फाइल जो है वो और भी इसको क्लियर करेगा ठीक है तो मेक श्योर sure कि आप अपना लोगो एच क्वालिटी में ले ठीक है जिससे बड़ा छोटा करने से कोई दिक्कत ना हो कभी भी लाइफ में खास करके आप हमको कमेंट करिएगा दोस्तों कि आपको कौन कौन से स्किल्स इंप्रूव करने हैं क्या आपको ओवरसीज कॉल कम्युनिकेशन में दिक्कत आ रही है क्या आपको वेब डिजाइनिंग में दिक्कत आ रही है जावा आपके कंप्यूटर में नहीं चल रहा है उसके रिलेटेड प्रॉब्लम आ रही है गूगल रिमार्केटिंग नहीं कर पा रहे हो गूगल एड्स में तकलीफ है सोशल मीडिया प्रमोशन में आपको दिक्कत आ रही है पोर्ट रजिस्ट्रेशन में या डीजीएफटी में आर फाइलिंग में कुछ प्रॉब्लम आ रहा है तो आप हमको कमेंट करके बताइए कि कौन सा ऐसा एरियाज है जिसमें आप अपना स्किल इंप्रूव करना चाहेंगे सीखना चाहेंगे वो हम पूरा का पूरा सिखाएंगे भी और साथ में फ्री भी आपको देंगे ठीक है तो ये वीडियो प्रोफेशनल लोगो मेकिंग के ऊपर है तो अब फ्री का यहाँ पर काम शुरू होता है तो आप उम्मीद है दोस्तों कि आपको वीडियो पसंद आएगा आप देखिएगा लैंग्वेज जो होती है फ्री की वो क्योंकि वो फैकल्टी नहीं होते या फिर उनको हिंदी नहीं आती है तो वो इस तरीके का कम्युनिकेट नहीं करते लेकिन जो लाइव वो प्रोजेक्ट करते हैं राइट हमारे लिए उसका सारा स्क्रीन कैप्चर स्क्रीन रिकॉर्डिंग वो आपको बना के दे रहे हैं 
और उनसे जो हो सकता है वो समझा के दे रहे हैं ठीक है तो वो चीज़ आप पूरा का पूरा लाइव जो वो काम कर रहे हैं उसका कैप्चर हमारे पास आ चुका है और वो उनकी काम की प्रक्रिया हम ट्रैक कर सकते हैं और उसमें से सीख के हम भी अप्लाई कर सकते हैं तो दोस्तों शुरू करते हैं लर्निंग पार्ट हेलो यूरान वेलकम टू बराई ओवरसीज यूट्यूब चैनल आम डायनी a freelancer working for fiverr a logo designer so i'm going to uh, help you to design uh, this logo so let's continue uh, i'm using illustrator so i have created the artboard uh, with a uh, 550 width and um, 300 mm of uh, height so starting with a uh, ellipse tool so here we have a circle mm. i'm going to make a, another copy of this and make it smaller than that this one okay so we have that one so fill color none for this one also fill color none and then uh make another copy of this and make it so much smaller than that one now let's create this one uh so i'm going to keep this aside i'll use that later and this one also we'll use that later we'll let's start so uh, i'm going to move this up with arrow keys okay a little bit more nice so this will be the top part let me okay now uh, select both these circles with shift key and then shift m for shape builder tool and i'm going to put uh check this color for the shape okay now selection tool remove unwanted strokes select the shape outline none and this shape and this one again i'm going to move the second one down side and i want it to be bigger than this one so expand it a little bit move this circles side Okay, so uh, both are selected. Again, Shift M for Shape Builder. Select the color, fill the shape, turn, and remove unwanted strokes. Select the shape, outline none. Uh, we will use these two strokes later so circles later so um, i'll need another new uh, ellipse so place it here and using alt key make a copy of that select both circles again 
shape builder shift M and fill this color and remove um, unnecessary strokes here select the shape no strokes nice so now we have to create those uh, this part let's go to that again ellipse tool like this um, fill color black and stroke color none drag selection tool a shortcut select top and bottom anchor points select here and I'm going to change the shape a little bit nice so with pen tool mm. okay then move it and increase its size and change it to this one select both expand appearance uh, go to options and uh, here and merge them then rotate bring it down here place it here and I'm going to make another copy by reflect tool shortcut key is O so pressing ALT and bringing this point here so this one is appearing so I'm selecting vertical and making a copy so here's the copy so I'm going to move it closer so that it will like pleasing shape so again um i'm selecting all these two shapes and pressing all time making copy of it okay nice and making it smaller like this and select both bring it here and I want to make these two also a little bit smaller than this this will work zoom it ok so again select these two go to this option and unite those two again these two also unite them then select both and blend tool shortcut key is w uh, first click on this and then click on this so here we counts and then v for selection tool then object expand ok object ungroup so I'm going to move this closer so that look nice at the end okay so it's here now so um, I'm creating another shape similar to this one a uh, little bit smaller than that so it's here um, direct selection tool select these top bottom points Let's zoom it in and with pen tool 
okay and with this one i'm increasing the size and here we go select both object expand appearance and then i'm merging that so keep it aside zoom out pen tool so with pen tool i'm drawing a line uh, from here to here a straight line so i'm clicking shift to create that and selecting that and increasing its size and changing its pattern to like someone like this and then bring in this shape here and it goes like this so i want to make this one a little bit smaller than this so let's try yeah that's better and uh, now uh, select this line object expand appearance select all merge and select this one create new brush art brush okay to ups direction okay so let's try the tool a new brush it is working so I'm bringing this circle here and placing it here and then with slice tool control C I'm going to click uh, select here and in this point okay nice so v and put in this one here removing this part so it looks nice that part is over so then um, I'm going to use the rectangle tool and drag it like here make it somewhere small like this and show color none fill color ash okay i need another copy of this uh, pressing old i'm gonna hide this one and change the fill color to this and with this wrinkle tool i'm going to change it a little bit so this will be the grass is done bring it back so I want 
to move both here, here and um, let's make it smaller and this one I want to make it further small yeah this will go okay So now I'm going to uh, create a grass patch. For that, I'm using this tool, coverage tool. I'll zoom. I'll, before that, let's hide this. Fill color, non stroke color this one and something like this will go let's make copies of this So this will be our grass so I'm bringing this stuff also over here Nice, so select all Then brush Pattern brush, okay. And I'm renaming the 
this as grass and oh, uh, before creating this one so I'm going to add like, like this so let's um, Select all brush, pattern brush, okay. Okay. So let's move this here and come here again with pen tool. Let's create. this point okay so this line stroke none uh, so I'm going to reduce the size okay this one before that let's um, get this grass here so that we can uh, get some few copies this here So, Check this part again. Bring to this gap. Bring it down here.
then we don't need this part and select this bottom rectangle and arrange bring it front so here we have our grass and so then we have to select both this one this one so it's easier to bring this uh, front so bring front okay so let's see yeah so that's um again we have to add that this structure we will add, add it um, finally then let's go with this green agri text so it's uh, we are changing it as uh, But I agree, so first uh, this part, so let's change size to this time and font, let's select a font. will work what about 70 Turn. Also, it's agree, but I agree, and so uh, so now we are uh, we have to uh, change the font colors and those stuff. direct selection tool okay nice so now we have to add that small part which comes here to this so let's add that one small um, curve will go fill none so fill none and stroke color this one tool I'm going to so it was like this so I think let's try this tool
let's make it um four nice and for this one I have to cover that part so let's create a rectangle with M fill color white fill color white stroke color none and move it here for the moment change the Get this one. Yeah. And another line here. And with pen tool. So select this one. Shape Builder, fill color white, and then remove the unnecessary strokes. Save the shape. None. This one also we have select that one and arrange uh, send back we'll have to bring this one front yeah and then let's get with tool tools I'm going to increase the width here So, so let's add a shape okay now we have to go to the uh, tractor part so in the I'll create a small triangle where first put polygon tool and then click here so sides three and here we got our triangle so I'm gonna um, fill it with this ash color ah, this one is much better and outline none and then zero that one effect Sort and transform. Transform. I'm going to add fifth, 50 uh, 15 copies, then 360 divided by 15. Okay. So this will be the first tire, first wheel of the tractor. So I okay. 
So let's get another copy of this and make it smaller. Nice. And then get the rectangle tool, shortcut is M create a rectangle here move it here and then another rectangle around here and just go to pen tools here are none Line black mm, pen tool and um, with coverage tool okay and uh, here copy of it here mm, again covid tool nice select all these lines and make it a shape by using this okay and then uh, remove the unwanted lines so these are not really wanted for us so we can delete those lines select the shape for the fill for the outline, none. And drag it. So drag it somewhat here. Um, and then for this one, let's take ellipse tool. Fill none so that will work. Place it here and take another copy of the same one and increase its size. Okay, so can use the pen tool. And here also create another line and select these lines and shape builder on this part. Okay, nice go to selection tool remove these unwanted share lines and select the shape outline none For this one, so get the 
this one. Like this. So fill color none. Straw color black. I increase the width. then add a rectangle fill color this one stroke color none and move it so move it here Then again rectangle tool. Move this one here. Just make it small. Shorter. Okay, and ellipse tool. Here, select these two, merge. Okay, now then go to this one. Uh, let's get that uh, image again. So, so here we have to get these parts. That should be done. Ellipse tool. Head. Cancel. Then again, cover the tool. We need the hat. So here we go. Um, for it. Then we have to get the human figure. Okay. Mm. And we have to create small shape here.
again go to pen tool fill color and stroke color this one and increase the stroke size Another stroke from here to here, so it's done. Finally, we have two. Object expand appearance ten checked group. So now we can increase its size. So we have him here. Okay. Mm, finally, how to do this one? Text uh, so let's add your slogan here. And reduce the size to this one, like and then your slogan here. So I think size can be increased further So mm. 
okay so object expand okay object and group So then color import. So yeah. Mm -hmm. This one uh, object expand appearance and color to. this one now let's change other color a little bit like this this one object expand appearance and they are colored this one and change it a little bit This one also should be moved here. Okay, so we are done with our logo. So let's save it. And then let's get a transparent one. A logo with Control Shift Alt S. our transparent logo uh, so transparency is there let's save it um, save it here transparent um, barai Agro, save, get done, and save this again. Close this. And go to this one. And open Photoshop.
so photoshop is opening now let's wait till it's open okay it's opening it will take some time as i see okay the file open So here is our transparent file. Place it, open it. It's opening. Okay, now we have to get the mockup. Let's see. Okay, so open. No, not this one. File open. Let's try this one. So from file, I have to open this one. Open. Okay. And then I have to get this one so select all window arrange to a vertical move tool from here to here I'm dragging that one and then so I don't need this one so I'm closing it and window arrange consolidate and I'm going to minimize this one so close this one so that it has with it has to be saved so yes okay so this pop is not uh, really good so let's try something good um,
so we can find many uh, mockup files uh, many times in free downloading sites so let's try something like that because this one is not the real one that I want to do Let's search. Mm, it's taking time. So, if we want, we can change this uh, light condition so that it can be done uh, managed. But let's try. Uh, search So free pick is the most famous one. So I'm also using that one on most of the occasions. There are so many uh, mockups that you can download for free. It seems like there's a connection problem with bad weather okay let's try something like this Just ready. Let's go down and see whether there are any more good attractive stuff that we can use. Let's try this one. Even this will work. Download. Free download.
let's try something from here like uh let's search here this one we'll try this one too So go to uh, downloads. First, let's uh, let's extract this one. Extract all. Browse extract. It's done, and then let's extract this one too. Extract all browse. Select folder. this one and let's open this one with photoshop close this one no So here we have it. So let's double click here. So on is transparent by a grow. So select all window arrange to a vertical. From here to here, I'm copying the file. 
and close and window arrange select tabs and I'm going to hide this one and this one so that it asks whether we have want to save yes So it's, it has taken a medley look, so let's try a final one. No. So I think that will be enough everyone so today i'm going to create this uh, alpha logo the, the very first logo design that i did for fiverr so let's continue so i'm going to use illustrator today and create a new with dimensions of uh, 550 and 300 so then create and here's the artboard so so I have created that wolf thing before so I'm going to use it as a template for the uh, for this uh, logo so so I'm going to use file place and from this one wolf art so here is it so let's minimize it so this is the image that I downloaded so we are going to recreate it and use it as the logo so let's make it a um, template so double click on this then make it template in this option tick that and it dims the image to 50% and so let's click ok Okay, so now it's a template so you can see that uh, transparency has been uh, decreased and so uh, the layer has been locked so we have to create a new layer and this is my new layer so it's using red color so let's create a new uh, uh, brush so I'm going to use uh, ellipse tool so let's create a new brush so, okay and fill it with black color for the lining no color and so here create
create new brush art brush okay and press okay so you can delete this one and let's start the progress so I'm going to use this uh, curvature tool So first we are creating the outline and then we can uh, do the rest. And selection tool and change the fill to no fill and to this so we can change the width uh, later so let's continue So it's easy if you are using something like this as a reference or uh, any image that you have already created or sketched one so you can use it as the template and draw it uh, draw on that so it will be easier than uh, doing this so uh, using drawing directly um, V and so the legs here we go and yeah so the basic outline is done so we have to do the rest and now um, so let's do this for like stuff um, so uh, if you want to change the brush color so you can do it later so don't worry about those stuff I'm going to draw just few lines later on we can change as uh, them as we want by changing width and by smoothing them so here is the eye so I'm going to use ellipse tool and you know I think rectangle will work yeah
so um let's do it later so let's do this first so you can delete unordered lines later uh, at the end before adding colors to the image so um, here we go the second leg and like this So this is very easy so because you have just to create a pen so uh, just to create a brush and then continue your work uh, so you can change the brush as you wish by here you can change it any way that you want lines okay feel to go this line so let's create that one okay and this one for that um, like this so we uh, as I mentioned before we can delete these unwanted lines so don't worry about those stuff just draw your lines free so these two lines for the nose and one for your, the mouth and then this like nice lines let's create those stuff And then again to this down one. Like curved. Okay, I'm going to draw somewhat longer that one. Okay. And then down. Yay. Here it comes the second one done okay and then another line to this one So there are few methods that you can create eye by adding a rectangle tool and then 
with a mesh uh, reshape it to this uh, shape but I am going to use uh, the pen uh, sorry uh, this curvature tool and uh, draw it so and then just zoom it okay yes I is done then for this year one also you can do the same thing by adding rectangle tool and reshape into that say this shape uh, but uh, for the eye I use that pen tool so for this one also I'm going to use the same one okay sorry again with this okay So I'm using this uh, curvature tool because it uh, allows me to take uh, curves very easily. So it will be um, easy. It is easy for me to use this tool than using mesh tool and uh, rearranging the shape. So if you are familiar with uh, that tool than this curvature tool, then it's fine. You can use that tool. Okay, for this part, let's add some lines. It's not going to work. Okay, like this. And then for this one, let's add another line. Okay, I'm going to draw it longer than that one in the image and this stuff this stuff so let's do that too okay So this is somewhat wider than this one so I am going to use another line here like uh, like this so we can make it wider so let's move it a little bit okay so this another line comes here let's add that one too here we go so this somewhat like we have missed the shape but we can make it as we wish later on so um, again for this one we are going to add another line so I thought of it will be better if we are coming from here yeah so let's see ah, another one is here okay so let's check whether we have completed all the lines yeah it seems like that we have completed all the lines so select the whole thing uh, Sorry about that. Yeah. Okay. So I'm going to zoom out and select all the stuff, change the line, brush. And so now we can change the width 
of the lines uh, according to our requirement uh, so I'm going to use this uh, so with tool and uh, in here we have smooth tool so I'm going to use those two tools here and so let's begin so before that uh, we can change like select one line and increase the width like this so I'm going to do that first and for this one yeah okay and this one so let's stretch it okay good fine done let's check this yeah that will look this one so, yeah. and here this line one again so yes as you can see it's somewhat highlighted so uh, yeah I'm going to decrease these two lines width like this and okay fine and here this ear uh, that will work and for this one let's increase again the width done decrease a little bit so that you can use the width tool to change the size and yeah so let's zoom in Which tool? Yeah, that will work for this one also. Oh. Yeah, then this one, like here. Mm. Okay, fine for this one let's change the width yes good done so if you can think that the width is too much so you can change it so I feel it like I have to decrease it so you can use this handle and decrease it and again here for this one a little bit like this so then this one yes and let's continue ears and eyes it's okay for this one let's increase the width a little bit yeah that will work and let's go 
uh, here then let's um, go down yeah for this one again we have to change the width we have to increase it um, that's not enough so that's okay for this one yeah from this area fine this one okay to this one good and here comes to this one So before that, uh, we had to change the sh shape here. So it's like it's not totally curved, so it's like distorted. So we are going to change the uh, make it smoother. Uh, yeah, smooth tool. So we have to select this one, then use this. Okay. So it seems like fine now. Yeah. Yeah, it's okay now. So uh, let's again use the width tool. So as you see, the shortcut is W. good so let's go down here okay and to this one again increase the width this area like another one like this fine and this one we have to increase again the width okay that will work fine and this one this this one like this okay fine and this one this this area like this 
today. Good. This line, so we have to make it somewhat smoother. Before that, we have to select that. So then, smooth tool, this one. So let's make it somewhat smoother. Nice. Again, with tool, with this line. Good. Yeah, let's see with the ah uh, now we have to increase the width of this one too. This level, yeah, that's better. Okay, let's see. So we have completed the image, and so. So with the selection selection tool and select entire image and so we are going to add object uh, expand appearance and live paint and again expand with direct selections tool we are going to then erase unwanted strokes like here so zoom with shift a uh, shortcut for the direct selection tool is a so with shift i'm going to delete unwanted strokes like this fine this line was not there okay that area looks better let's continue want to move this so I'm going to move it like here and Mm -hmm. 
all this this one and this point with this point so I'm going to move that bit bit here and this point to cover that gap and it's done and this one I'm going to move this point So it seems fine. So I have forgot to apply the width tool here. So let's try it now. So mm. so it's not going to work. create another new line like this so that's a thing so let's write no fill and stroke and then get the width sorry width tool here and increase the width okay it's okay now and so then again we have let's go here so again we have to selection tool select all object expand I paint with expand okay so again direct selection tool delete unwanted strokes good this one was here good 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 uh, this one was not there and we had already this one too this one these small strokes so zoom in find the unwanted strokes mm. so that part is clear now zoom out then we have to do this one so let's zoom in again so these strokes are not required for our logo so delete those stuff and this part nice mm -hmm. good this one is not needed and this small one this part okay so we are done let's zoom out no, uh, so we forgot to um, erase the unwanted strokes in this ear so and this part small one fine and this too so now we have removed uh, all the unwanted strokes so here we have our wolves so so it seems okay so let's continue uh, now uh, we have to add um, those colors so we have used in here uh, red and black so let's add those colors 
for wolf we have used total red and for the circle we have used um, a half with red and the other half with uh, black so let's change this to live paint make good it's okay so let's select a red color so I'm going to use this one So I'm going to zoom it and use because it's easier than. So these small parts of the eye done. So don't let uh, these type of small parts to be there. So we have to color those, color those parts too. So it has a small section here. Zoom in. Here is it. So, yeah, mm, yeah, it's done. And these parts. Again, zoom in. Okay. Yes. Nice. And this small section done. Zoom out. So I have forgotten to delete these strokes, so I'm going to select so selections tool, so I'm going to delete those strokes and again live paint tool.
zoom in the small section So there's a small part in this, yeah, and for this here, okay, so we have completed uh, creating our wools, and then for this ear we have to fill red color, nice, and then we have to add that circle, so let's go to ellipse tool L so I'm going to zoom out and add a circle nice so feeling no feel so let's see how that we have placed so there's a small gap like this so we have rotated this because this join was here good wolf front so arrange arrange bring to front nice and this one select Today I'm going to use this one like this and so uh, I think it's better than that red and brown uh, black one so then let's go to text tool so I'm going to add text okay alpha sorry alpha so and then uh, change the size to like 72 let's use 100 fine change the font to I think it's like mm, this one Algerian and then object expand and Fill, tick, tick on fill, uh, sorry, object and OK. Then gain object and ungroup. So I have placed that like this. So let's add that. Mm -hmm. Let 
later that, that, that later alpha so I have to add that a letter again expand ok object and group ok like this color to red little bit let's change and this one again change see like bigger so change the color find the last A Fine. and I'm going to uh, yeah so I'm going to group that group and group We have completed uh, the logo and let's save it. So I'm going to uh, first save it as an AI, AI file. So uh, logo alpha. Okay, and save. And now I'm Okay, so I have selected all the things that I want to do so okay then I'm going to save it as a transparent file so I'm going to use control shift alter s so here's our logo so it seems like it's too big so I'm going to uh, reduce its size Again, control shift alt s and yeah it's fine now so let's go and save make sure the transparency option is ticked and save so I'm going to save it here for commission and so yeah I'm going to save it and done 
so if you want to uh, export this as a jpeg so go to file export uh, export as so there you can save it as uh, any type that you want so and we have done and we are going to close that okay and so So now we have to add mockup like this one. So I'm going to open uh, Photoshop. Okay, now it's opening. So we can add any type of mockup that we want uh, there are so many mockups files that we can download or uh, we can create our own mockups it's very easy and just the mockup that you want you can create it by yourself or just by uh, downloading a mockup file and add so I'm going to use a mockup that I have uh, uh, downloaded so uh, first I'm going to um, open that uh, one so so it's opening okay so this is the previous one that I had that I did so uh, then now we are going to uh, open the transparency file that we have saved so let's see here it is no, this one okay logo alpha so we are going to open that fine so then we are going to uh, select select all and yeah here I'm going to take this and click double click in here and then here comes this dialog box so we are going to press ok and then uh, window arrange to up vertical so we are going to move this one from here to here and close this and this one I'm going to um, this one I'm going to hide that one and this one select the layer and move so okay seems good yeah and press enter and close this one so then ask uh, they are asking whether to sh save the changes so yes okay here is your mockup so then file save So it's saving and then save as so uh, I'm going to save it as a JPEG file and yeah alpha on paper so mock up save and so I have given the maximum quality and OK. And just close it and let's see whether it has saved. So uh, 
see here? Mm -hmm. It seems like it's not saved, so let's check it again. Yeah, here it is. iPhone paper mockup. Okay, so this is the logo that we made.